Eric chooses China to be his home after having traveled around the world for a long time. The legendary story between his uncle and China became part of his life. Whenever he reads the book, Red Star Over China, it takes him back to 85 years ago when the Red Army had just finished the long march. My uncle was just at the right place at the right time. And then, plus, he has a very good writing style. You read it, and you can tell he's an honest journalist, you see. The most historical accomplishment was that it's not only introduced Mao Zedong and his men to the world, worldwide, but it also introduced him and his men, the Red Army, to the Chinese people themselves. Uh, at that time, the Chinese people, they didn't know who the Red Army was because all they read was from the Chiang Kai-shek's papers, all the bad propaganda against them. I know that the Long March, I would say it was the spirit of determination, you see. And what feeds the spirit of determination is knowing that you're doing something that's right. You're doing something for a good cause, you see. And, and all the, lots, so, so many people my uncle interviewed it's like they knew this was the right cause, what they were doing. Uh, because at the time, you know, the Chiang Kai-shek and his government was so corrupt and, and it was just, you know, it was taking from the people, taking from the people, taxing them for this. Some people got taxed years ahead. They had to pay taxes for tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. You know, Mao Zedong and his men came along. Hey, let's share, let's, you know, the socialism is what we need, you know. And so, so they really knew what they were fighting for was the right cause. Edgar Snow came to China in 1931 as a journalist. 80 years after that, Eric came to China in 2010. The two generations of the Snow family witnessed as China crossed the century. Just to see the progress that China has made is it's just amazing. No other country has been able to do what China has done. And you have to have an efficient government, some you know, government that's organized. And, and there you go, the spirit of determination, the same as the Long March. And, and when they're determined to do something, they do it. And the Western government, because of this democracy, they got to get this vote, that vote. It's not that efficient. Uh, to really have the most efficient governments in the world are the type of government that you have. And what's cool about that is people, they, they counsel together, they work together, and there's this one person has all the power. Because only, you know, one person can make mistakes easily, you know, but you need counselors, you need to talk, you need to, you know, all discuss, counsel to make these decisions. This is what you guys do. What we like about Beijing and, and China is so safe. <laughs> you can go out at nighttime, you don't have to worry about, hey, give me your money, you know. And anyway, so this is something we really, really appreciate. You can go out and eat and drink with friends. It doesn't matter what even the normal people here who are poor can go out eating and drinking, you know, on those sidewalk, really cheap things. In other words, for all levels of society, they can go out and eat and drink with friends and enjoy life, you know. Today is the 72nd anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China. I want to say congratulations to China and happy National Day holiday to the Chinese people.